What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Philly Picker YouTube channel. My name's Joe. Today's video, we're going to head to two Salvation Armies together. If you are new to the channel, I'm a part-time reseller based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where I basically resell items that I pick up at thrift stores. I sell them on eBay. As soon as I head in here, I always check out the case up front. Uh, the glass case is usually filled with the uh, Amazon donations that the Salvation Army has been getting recently. Um, today, I didn't see much that was in there. Uh, nothing really worthwhile. There is a second case on the other side here, which we go over here. Um, nothing really caught my eye here either. But I always check it out just to make sure. Usually after this, um, I head over towards the uh, sneaker section um, and pretty much go through all the aisles here. Um, this is a pair of Nike uh, Air Force Ones. They wanted $17 for it. They were in pretty rough shape. Uh, I decided to put them back. The second pair of Adidas here that I pick up. Um, towards the front of the toes underneath on the sole they were all worn out so i ended up putting them back also this pair of um baseball cleats here this is a pair of new balance baseball cleats they wanted uh twelve dollars and 99 cents for them um, i'll actually put a comp up here you can get a brand new pair on ebay right now for 15 dollars plus shipping so there was no money to be made there that was a uh, Nike running shoe, but they only had one shoe there. This is a pair of uh, Hoka running shoes. Um, they seem to be in good shape. Uh, the only thing that they were missing was the insoles. And this is the second or third pair that I found of Hoka's. And none of them, seen, none of them had the uh, insoles in them. But I ended up picking them up. They were $8.99, and I have them listed for $59.98. On eBay after checking out all the shoes I always come over here to the hard goods section um, let me know down in the comments if there is something that you've seen here on the shelves that I missed I don't really pick up anything here um, nothing really caught my eye but leave me a comment down below let me know if you do see something over here is a uh, find a NASCAR truck that you'll see here in the video in a second. Um, I did look up some comps on it. Uh, they were all over the place, and um, I think they wanted ten dollars for it. There was just no money to be made, so I left that behind. This item come up here is a uh, Brita water filter. Um, I have picked up Brita water filters up in the past. This particular model turned out to be not worth anything. But uh, recently I picked up an 8-pack at the same store and uh, turned out to be uh, worth picking up. Nothing else really in this aisle here. Check the other side. Um, I pick up this... Um, it's actually a um, six outlet plug. Uh, it just you just plug it into your regular wall outlet, and it gives you uh, six outlets, and it's a surge protector. I actually picked that up for myself um, to use around the house. I always come back and check the uh, toy section. Also, um, really wasn't much here. This uh, Lego set you'll see here, this was an Amazon donation. I think they wanted $4 for it, and um, I'm sorry, they wanted $3 for it, and it was only selling for like 9 or $10 on eBay. Uh, the profit margin wasn't there, so I left that behind also. That was a puzzle. I forget the price they had on there, but it wasn't worth picking up either.
This was a uh, Richie Ashburn Phillies uh, starting lineup figure. I thought it was pretty cool, but no resale value in that. I always come over and check the uh, jackets. Um, this first uh, jacket I pull out here, it's actually a vest. It's an L.L. Bean fleece line vest. Um, they wanted $18 for it. It just wasn't worth uh, picking up. I think they were selling somewhere around $25 to $30. Um, this Levi's jacket here, they wanted $25 for it. At first glance, it looks pretty good. But the more I look over it and uh, check out the condition, you'll actually see down the bottom here, um, there's a cigarette burn that actually goes through the whole jacket. So uh, for $25, I ended up leaving this behind also. But I thought it was a really cool jacket. I wish it didn't have that cigarette burn in it. So it was a size extra large. It was a good size, but... With the condition it was in, it just wasn't worth picking up. I do end up picking up this um, Carhartt jacket. It's a lightweight uh, button snap, uh, lightweight jacket. I think it was $8. Um, I figured I can get somewhere around $30 for it. Um, I don't have that listed yet in my store. Um, I'm really slow about listing clothing, but I do check it out all the time. This is just another little section of hard goods that they have off to the side. Didn't really find anything here also. So basically the only items I picked up there were the Carhartt jacket and the Hoka shoes. This is the second Goodwill, uh, I'm sorry, this is the second Salvation Army store that we're going here. Uh, this is about seven miles away from the store that I was just at. Uh, it's in a whole different area of the city um i usually find some good items here also but as usual i go in and check out the glass case this store is also getting some amazon returns also um but i didn't really find anything there in the case so i go over to these tables usually they have their hard goods out here on the table they don't have much shelving in the store it's mostly just the uh, clothing racks um so most of the hard goods they put on folding tables. They do have a section in the back that you'll see later on um, with some more hard goods. But on this first table, um, I end up seeing this uh, gin and tonic glasses. Uh, this was a brand new set. Um, they had $8 on it. Um, I ended up picking this set up. Uh, I've sold this brand before. But I have this listed right now for $59.98 plus shipping. I always do this to myself where I come in the store and I never grab a cart at first. And I always end up having to go back for a cart. I should just get one every time I go in. But that's a bad habit that I end up not doing that. So we'll go over to the tables where we uh, left off. And uh, this is a uh, new old stock uh, cassette radio for your car. Um, it's actually from 1986. Uh, they wanted $12.99 for it. I picked it up, and I have it listed in my store for $149. So hopefully somebody will need that, need that if they're restoring a car, and they'll buy mine. This is a pack of golf balls that I picked up. They had $4.99 on them, and uh, I listed them for $19.98 plus shipping on eBay. Here's the sneakers at this store. They're always overpriced here for some reason. Like that pair of Jordans were marked $30, and they were in pretty bad shape. There's a couple other pair of shoes that I pick up here. This is a pair of Reeboks. And they wanted, I believe, $35 for these. Um, no way were they worth picking up at those prices. So I just scanned through the sneakers and shoes a little bit more. Nothing really catches my eye. 
um, at first. This is uh, some more sneakers. And like I said, with these prices the way, the way they were, I don't think I would have found anything anyway. This is the kids section of shoes. I give it a once over, but nothing really there. This was a rack of coats that they had just put out um, when I walked to the back of the store. I actually find this overcoat here. You'll see it coming up. I recognize the brand. I just didn't know anything about it. So I actually reached out to a, a YouTube friend. I reached out to Tommy Bernard, who actually sells a lot of clothing. And uh, he gave me some information on this jacket. It turns out that uh, I left this jacket behind. They wanted $27 for this jacket. And when uh, Tommy and I looked into it, it just wasn't worth paying that much money. It would have took a long time for this jacket to sell. So I ended up leaving it behind. Um, but keep an eye out for that brand. This is that other small section of uh, hard goods that they have. Um, so I just stroll down here and hopefully something catches my eye. I do pick up a few things here. Um, first thing that I ended up picking, this was a dimmer. I ended up putting it back. It was actually open. Um, if it wasn't open, I might have picked it up. I think they only wanted $2 for it. This was a uh, Jurassic Park thermos. Um, I actually put this in my cart, and before I checked out, luckily I looked inside of it. It still had some kind of, I don't know, I guess it was food or something that was in there that was all dried up. Uh, I just ended up leaving it behind. I wasn't really messing with it. Um, there's a few things here. This is a, uh, Speedo's, um, swim cap. I ended up leaving that behind also. Moving along this, um, antique boot scra scraper catches my eye, but it, it was a... It was a repo, and um, they wanted twenty-five hours for it. There was just no money to be made there, uh, but it was a cool item. This paperweight catches my eye. It wasn't marked. There was it wasn't signed or anything. I ended up picking putting it back, but this little alarm clock from LL Bean catches my eye. That was behind it, and I listed this, and this ended up selling for twenty-nine dollars and ninety-eight cents plus shipping. That actually sold in one day um, after I listed it, so that was a cool item. They have a small section back here of board games. I always go through the board games. I usually end up picking up sealed board games if they're worth any money. I don't really deal with the uh, open board games. Um, they wanted $8 for this uh, game, and it was called Death at the Dive Bar. Um, I listed this for $49.98 plus shipping in my store. A few loose toys here. Nothing really uh, much here. This was a bin here. I started going through it. Um, I ended up finding a Wi-Fi adapter in here. Um, it was missing the antennas, and when I took a closer look at it, uh, the actual board was cracked. So um, I think it just got crushed from being in that uh, bin at the bottom, so I ended up leaving that behind. Uh, I don't even know how much it was. There was no price tag on it, but I wasn't dealing with it. So that's pretty much everything that I found here. Um, right after this, I head up to the uh, cashier to start paying. Um, I ended up turning off my phone and stopped recording. But as I was in line, ready to check out, something caught my eye that was behind the uh, register. And it turns out to be um, this pair of uh, Crocs that you'll see here in a second. Um, they were behind the register. I asked to see them. Um, once I saw them, 
I realized what they were. Um, I'm not sure if any of you's ever heard of, it's called Bad Bunny. I don't even know where it's from really, but I've heard of these Crocs being worth some money. Uh, these were actually behind the counter. Here's a picture of them after the uh, cashier put them in the booth. I mean, put them in the bag. But check out these comps. They're somewhere, anywhere from around $200 to $300. Um, I was shocked. I paid $5 for these. It was a great find. So basically, that's everything that I picked up at the two uh, Salvation Armies today. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in and checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see everybody on the next one.